Good evening. <coughs> and um, today we're going to talk about business partner concept in uh, SAP S4 HANA. <coughs> so in SAP S4 HANA, business partner concept is one of the important concepts or one of the things which is different. So if you see what is different between SAP S4 HANA and SAP ECC, then one of the thing which is important or one of the thing which is different is business partner concept. In the SAP SD, we had uh, something called, if I exit out from here, <clears throat> So, if you remember, we had a transaction code XG01. If I go to XG01, this is the message which appears. Now, what is this message tells us? So, this message tells us the redirecting to the transaction BP as the transaction XT01 is obsolete. So, that basically means the transaction code to create a customer XG01 is not supported anymore so now you have to use something called transaction bp business partner all different type of business partners whether it's a customer whether it's a vendor all of them should be would be created using transaction code bp so if you type bp and uh, we reach is to this is great. The very first thing which we see here is we have a predefined business partner categories. So the very first thing is we have we have pre predefined business partner categories. You see that these are three business partner categories. One of them, if uh, if you see there, is person, and uh, another one is okay. So we have person, and apart from the person, the next one we have is organization. And uh, another one which we have is group. These are the three defined business partner categories. Now, as I said, these are the predefined. So if you see here, project person, organization, group, they are predefined. You can't change them, they are predefined. Now, person, as the name suggests, like if my customer is Michael, my customer is Thomas, my customer is Richard. So that is the name of the person because we are doing business with persons. Like in B2C business, this could be relevant, which we can use. Now, even in B2B also, there could be person like we have a contact person or a sales person those can also be created as a person category so both in b2b and b2c we can use person in different ways then we have my uh, we have organization so if i'm selling it to costco so if my customer costco if my customer is walmart right if my customer is Pepsi, so they are part of their, they should be called as organization. Okay. Now, what is the group? Sometimes we set, we send to the group of people. Now, what is the group of people? What could be an example where we are selling to group of people? So one of the example of group of people could be, um, so let us say if I'm selling to um you know married couple 
So we are selling house mortgages to married couple. So we are sending to two people. So that is an example of a group. Sometimes we don't sell to individual, but we sell to group. So these are the three things which is predefined, and that is called business partner category. Now let us say I want to create a business partner in called organization. So we go to click on the organization. So we go to the organization, and uh, in the organization, what we see. So in organization. We can have different partner group. Okay, just a minute. I think I start sharing. Yeah. Okay. So here, we back. We have something called something called business partner role. So we have something called business partner role, and these are the different business partner role which is predefined in the system so these are different business partner role so the second thing which is important for us to understand is called business partner role business partner role is the business role performed by business partner so business partner what kind of a role that business partner performs that is controlled by business partner role and if you go here in drop down and this is an sap Bohana, so we can have all these different roles prospect agent and billing unit and uh, um, and if you if you scroll down then we have a different uh, uh, customers and here you know we have a customer which we say if if i'm creating a flc u01 that is a business partner that is a business partner role or bp role for a new customer so we can select that business partner role then we have here something called grouping now business partner grouping controls the number range so the another thing which is here is something called grouping so grouping controls number range so grouping controls number range so we can have different type of number range and that number range is controlled by grouping so business partner grouping controls number range of business that is controlled by grouping and this we are controlled by grouping now if let us say i select the business partner role flcu01 which is customer now when we select the business partner role then here we see the sales and distribution uh, uh, information so we can ma maintain sales and distribution related information so let us say in the name i want to do put a customer uh, as customer by Dilip Saad, and um, we can put it this is the a test customer or whatever name we want to put it we can put it Search term, whatever way we want to search the customer, we can put search term. And then we put the street and all that. It's route 287, uh, house number 8123, uh, postal code, we enter the postal code, city, uh, Edison. Uh, so we enter city, Edison, country, let us say US. We are working with the US and uh, in the region, we select New Jersey. And then language, we select English. So these are the different data which we have entered.
we hit enter and then system uh, gives you this uh, text jurisdiction code now this text jurisdiction code is required if you have integrated sap to the vertex etc so we use text jurisdiction code so we selected that so this is simple general data which we can enter in the sap system your address overview we can enter any address identification if you want to enter any identification here so in the external identification we can enter um, you know what kind of it is industry if it is a what kind of a test customer so this is a customer so it is external uh, business partner identification we go to control uh, business partner type you know what kind of business partner type it is so we can define direct indirect whatever is strategic and all that we can define different partners payment transactions in the pay payment transaction if uh, i want to do uh, select any bank information um, we we could do this the same information same thing in sd side as well um, and then we can enter bank of america and this is my account number you go to status if you want to uh, set up any status here so active yes it is active customer then uh, target group target group is uh, basically needed if you are basically using this customer for the any marketing uh, purposes so you can put in the target group uh, customer general data so if you want to enter anything so you can enter here and we have here external customer numbers so we can say customer one and then different other things these are some of uh, tax declaration tax information etc and after entering all this information the next thing which we do we want to go back to the sales and distribution because from sd perspective you need to maintain sales and distribution information so we go to sales and distribution information and uh, as we always select we select uh, relevant um, sales area okay and then uh, as we select sales district etc um, as applicable we can select sales district or any customer group uh, as we require what kind of customer group it is as we have been selecting uh, customer pricing procedure so if you want to select the customer pricing procedure we can select a, a customer pricing procedure we go to uh, shipping uh, in which we can enter the delivery priority uh, high medium low uh, what delivering plant we want to deliver the product so this is the delivering plant um, what is the shipping condition these fields are similar as we have been doing in sd uh, there is actually no difference and then we go to billing okay. and now if you go to billing um, here uh, we go to in quote we enter in quotum. We enter um, in quotum two. FOB warehouse. What is the payment term? So we can enter the payment term. So this is the payment term. We can put as applicable. And uh, then we have a text classification. As we always do, text classification taxable, non taxable. So this is the tax exempt. Then we had partner functions. So the same way we have a sold to ship to build to pair. And uh, and then we hit enter. Any status. And after that, we save it. <coughs> so see the message in the bottom. So here we have something called business partner. 172 created so we are able to create a business partner here in the sap system now if i see here now if i go back here then it will show you that if f l c u 01 customer this partner function and maintained that basically means we have maintained the customer for business partner role this business partner role so that is why here maintained because if you see there are so many different business partners 
and then um, they don't appear, right? So it only appears for business, you know, FLCU01. After that, if you go back to um, customer, now if you, if you select a new business partner, because you can extend the same customer to different business partner role. So I select now, say customer financial accounting new. Right? So let us say I select to this business partner. It, it, it takes all the data, identification, business partner, so the entire data comes up and uh, all the information which you maintain comes up all that information the general data the entire bank information etc which we entered so all information comes up e status general data and all that all that information comes up and then here we have something called company code data if you go into company code data here again i can choose company code so just select one of them hit enter i can enter the reconciliation account as we have been selecting all along on so whatever the reconciliation account we have we can select the reconciliation account and then we go to payment transaction and we can enter the payment term as we have been uh, entering all along correspondence these are all same field dunning procedure and all that and after that we save it. So here we are able to create a customer and we have created this customer from the perspective of our, from the perspective of customer and uh, also, and we can always go back and search them as well. So if you want to know, if I want to go and search, so these are some of the business partners. So this is the one we created. We can open that. So this is the business partner. This is the customer number which you have created. Yeah. And uh, if I want to create a sales order, you know, this is a sales order in uh, SAP S Wahana. We enter order type, sales order, distribution channel, division. We entered the customer number. We enter the partner. We enter the material. We enter the quantity. And, uh, and then we save it. And we save it. So, we are able to create a sales order. This is a sales order screen in SAP S Bohana using GUI. With that, thank you very much. So I appreciate you all joining. And this is quickly I wanted to explain. Thank you very much.